tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the 2017 Evil Idol voice acting competition. Voting is simple. Following the performance, simply click the thumbs up icon on this video if you'd like them to become a member of the team, or the thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Voting on this entry will conclude one week after the date of its posting. Good luck to all of our contestants. There was to be a grand ball in the town, and Karen was invited. She looked at the red shoes, saying to herself that there was no sin in doing that. She put the red shoes on, thinking there was no harm in that either. And then she went to the ball and began to dance. But when she wanted to go to the right, the shoes danced to the left. And when she wanted to dance up the room, the shoes danced down the room, then down the stairs, through the street, and out through the gates of the town. She danced and had to go on dancing, far out into the dark wood. Suddenly, she saw something shining up among the trees. At first, she believed it was the moon, glowing blood red in the mist, for it had a face but it was the old soldier with the red beard. He sat there, bobbing his head at her, and said, Dear me, what pretty dancing shoes. She was frightened and wanted to throw the red shoes away, but they stuck fast. She tore off her stockings, but she could not get them off. They had grown to her feet. She danced and had to go on dancing over field and meadow, in rain and sunshine, by night and by day. But by night, it was most horrible. She danced out into the open graveyard, but the dead there did not dance. They were at rest. She wanted to sit down on the pauper's grave where the bitter fern grows, but for her, there was no peace. And as she danced past the open church door, she saw an angel there with great wings reaching from his shoulders, stretching down to the earth. His face was stern and grave, and in his hand he held a broad, shining sword. Dance you shall, said he. Dance in your red shoes till you are pale and cold, till your skin shrivels and you are a skeleton. Dance you shall from door to door, and where wicked children live you shall knock so that they may hear you and be afraid. Dance you shall. Dance. Mercy, cried Karen, but she did not hear what the angel answered, for the shoes carried her through the gate, into the fields, along highways and byways, and unceasingly she had to dance. One morning she danced past a door she knew well, there was weeping and moaning inside, and a coffin was being carried out. Then she knew that she was forsaken by everyone and damned by the angel of God. She danced and had to go on dancing through the dark night. The shoes carried her over thorns and stumps till her feet were torn and bleeding. She danced away over the heath to a lonely little house. Here lived the executioner and she tapped with her fingers at the window and said, Come out, come out. I cannot come in, for I must dance. And the executioner said, I don't suppose you know who I am. I strike off the heads of the wicked, and my axe is tingling. Don't cut off my head, said Karen, but cut off my feet with the red shoes. And then she confessed all her sin, and the executioner raised his axe and struck off her feet. But the red shoes continued dancing. They danced away across the field into the deep forest, with Karen's severed feet still inside them.
Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via either a thumbs up or thumbs down vote. New entries will be posted throughout July. Be sure to tune in and vote for each of them and help decide who becomes the next evil idol. In the meantime, turn off the lights and turn on the dark. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights 